week has passed and the living room is filled with excitement as Jessica and Alex prepare for Maya's fifth birthday celebration. Everything looks perfect for Mia's big day. Uh, she is going to love it. Maya, in anticipation, wears a party hat and clutches a gift. But as the festivities unfold, a small accident turns her joy into tears. <laughs> Wait, how did this exactly happen? Mia was so happy with her party hat and gift. But while everyone was having fun, someone accidentally bumped into her. The gift fell down and broke, and a piece hurt her hand. Now, instead of being happy, Mia felt sad and started crying. Haha, <laughs> thank you, Becky. Mia enters school the next week, and the atmosphere is different. Some classmates notice her injury and start teasing her. Look at who can't even hold her own backpack. Mia can't do things for herself. She is like a baby. Mia feels the sting of loneliness as hurtful words echo in the school corridors. Mrs. Anderson, the caring teacher, <coughs> observes Mia's change in demeanor. Concerned, she decides to address the class about empathy and kindness. We need to support each other through both happy and difficult times. Words can hurt more than we realize. Mrs. Anderson's words hit the class, making them realize how their words affected Maya. Suddenly, empathy replaces cruelty, and students unite to make amends, forming new friendships. United in their newfound empathy, the students gather around Maya and joyfully sing happy birthday, turning the atmosphere from regret to celebration. Thank you, everybody. On their way home, Maya talks about her good day at school still lingering. However, a sense of heaviness fills Alex as he doesn't know how he will tell Maya about her sudden sick grandmother. Mia, yeah, there's something important we need to talk about. What's wrong, Dad? Yeah, Grandma is very sick. It's going to be a, a tough time for all of us. Is Grandma going to be okay? The doctors is doing everything they can to make her better. We will get through this together. Let's go visit Grandma. Maya goes to see Grandma Eloise at the hospital, hoping for smiles and giggles but it feels different. Daddy talks quietly with the doctor, and the room feels a bit sad. Alex, I'm afraid the test confirmed stage four pancreatic cancer, and it has spread extensively. There's nothing more we can do. I'm sorry. Alex's eyes reflect a mix of disbelief and sorrow as he processes the devastating news about grandma. Mia, unaware, approaches her sleeping grandmother. Grandma Eloise lies peacefully, unaware of the heartbreaking conversation outside her room. The doctor leaves, and Alex, struggling to maintain composure, enters to find Mia sitting by Grandma's bedside. Mia, Grandma's sleeping right now. Maya, sensing the heaviness in the room, looks at her dad with questioning eyes. Alex, torn between shielding Maya and facing the truth, musters a weak smile, concealing the profound sadness within. Grandma needs a rest, we are. As night falls, Grandma Eloise sleeps peacefully, unaware of the surrounding storm. Mia, unaware of the heartbreaking news, hopes for Grandma's awakening. In the waiting room, Jessica, trying to hold back tears, is comforted by Mia, who senses her mother's distress. Mommy, why are you and Daddy sad? Grandma is very sick, sweetheart. Mommy and Daddy wants Grandma to get better, right? Yes, Mia. We all want that. The family returns home. Mia, tired but content, heads to bed after eating and bathing. In a quiet room in the living room, Jessica, unable to contain her emotions, breaks into tears. The weight of the situation presses down on her. It's just so much, Alex. I can't live without my mom. As the night grows darker, Alex, sensing Jessica's need for comfort, opens up about the difficult situation with her mom. Facing tough times with your mom is hard, Jess, but you're not alone. Your mom's love and strength make you special. In these moments, your resilience shines. You can't control everything, but how you face it shows your strength. Okay, my love, I love you. I love you more, my love. Alex's comforting words bring solace to Jessica. With heavy emotions, now holds a subtle peace to Jessica and the baby. They go to bed, bidding each other good night. Grandma's heart rate is slowly going down. Jessica begins to cry, saying, Don't leave me. 